Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. So it's a pleasure for me to give you a short overview over the time machine, which was in the last month a very challenging and time uh, uh, um, consuming way to spend our time. At the same time, I want to welcome uh, uh, Cristina Diaz Martinez, who is among us. Good morning, Cristina. Um, Good morning. Who is, who is one of the, co uh, of the coordinators of the project from Spain. So in advance, I want to apologize, Christina, that I cannot give a comprehensive overview of the project, which for which you know best, we need two and a half hours at least. So I have 10 minutes and I will try to give a, an overview from the with the glasses of Icarus, so to say, as it is an Icarus presentation. And um, uh, so I stress the points where Icarus is concerned more uh, intensive. So, um, yes, what are we, what are we speaking about? So, uh, Digital Treasures, uh, it's a Creative Europe uh, program of the European Union for the duration of four years. So, we are right in the middle somehow, so till 2023. And so, we have um, several members or partners led by the Spanish State Archives, and the partners are the National Archives of Hungary, Malta, Norway, Portugal from the technical point of view, Cork Institute of Technology, Ireland and Icarus, um, well, from Europe. Yeah. So it's, um, as you know, we have a very, um, a very diverse, with diversity regarding our partners. So just uh, to give you, uh, give a uh, overview of the, main aim, I want to quote, I want to cite the one sentence of the project application, to give European heritage presented in the European archive a much larger and broader public visibility, which this is really a very ambitious goal, but I think it works. It, it works and it will work. Um, so the big work is organized in five work packages divided in at least 26 actions and sub-actions, so it's really very uh, dense. Um, so first to create new business models for Europe, um, for European cultural heritage and archives in the 21st century. Stories of history, which I will uh, explain more details uh, in, the next, uh, in the next minutes. Number three, it's quite interesting, uh, working with new target audiences, that means New target audiences are the very young and the older generation. So within this work group, um, uh, for instance, we develop an archival online literacy course um, where teachers are offered resources, digital resources, material from the different archives that they may use in everyday teaching in schools and so on, and give them somehow a kind of um, aid and help to uh, give this knowledge to the pupils. On the other hand, um, we build uh, for the younger generations, for the very young generations, a kind of edutainment app connected with uh, objects of an exhibition and give them opportunity to, um, to innovatively and, um, and um, somehow uh, independently deal with these objects and build their own youth archives. On the other hand of the spectrum, the silver researchers, as we call them, and hobbyists were um, uh, addressed to be part of several crowdsourcing projects, which is at present just about to be developed. Uh, number four is communication and dissemination, which is in the responsibility of ACRUS 2, and of course the project management 
imposing the whole burden on the children. So just have a look on the stories of history, um, or of the history, uh, which is the uh, which is the section where Icarus is mostly involved, or most intensely is for, uh, involved. So the point is to prepare free roaming transmedia exhibitions. Uh, in case you do not know what transmedia exhibitions are, I haven't got an idea either at the beginning. So in this uh, exhibitions, we use multiple platforms and formats using various digital technologies, uh, really various digital technologies. Uh, so in the last month, there have been collected about 150 documents for free exhibition themes. Um, the themes, um, there are three main themes, and the themes are subdivided into pillars. Um, so the first one is the construction of Europe, um, organized by the National Archive of Hungary and the assistance of the National Archive of Malta, uh, spirit of Europe, diversity of Europe, multiple faiths of Christianity and the heritage of enlightenment are the main pillars of this section. Then uh, the number two, um, exiles, migratory flows and solidarity were organized by the Norwegian colleagues and under the assistance of Icarus. We, we split it, this section in uh, work-related, war-related migration and um, uh, migration at, up to political uprising, turmoil situation. And uh, last but not least, European discoveries and developments uh, led by Portugal and assisted by the Spanish state archives um, divided in the pillars, medicine, energy industry, transport and navigation. And I'm really happy to say that um, Icarus um, is really um, um, very intensively involved in this because when I, when I uh, ask the partners to contribute documents to all of these three topics, um, there were a big number of answers coming, uh, ready to help. Uh, altogether, 11 archives. I just list them out of Vojvodina, the Assistant Archive of St. Pölten, Historical Archive of Belgrade, uh, National Archive of Montenegro, of Estonia, of Finland, of Romania, of the Czech Republic, Regional Archive of Maribo in Slovenia, State Archive of Carinthia, and of Upper Austria, all contributed in various, various ways. So I, uh, so, in all three categories, so I dare to say that this contribution gave the whole project an even more international touch and a broader approach to this. So uh, I spoke about free roaming exhibitions. Roaming exhibition means that they change, they move from place to place, from city to city, from country to country. In Austria, just to give an example, we will have, of course, also free um, free exhibitions. The venue is the Diocesan Archives of St. Pölten. Uh, so in every country, it's mainly in the capital city, but in Austria, it's in St. Pölten. Um, so exhibition one will be in uh, next year, in May from July uh, 2021. So all this three months of duration. Number two, November 21 till January 22, and the third one from May to, from, to July 2022. Um, so, in the course of this uh, exhibitions, we create catalogs and object descriptions done by or prepared by historians and translated in all languages of the project. Uh, this was the big challenge in the last weeks for all of us to translate this object, about 170 texts uh, in Maltese, in Norwegian, in Spanish, in whatever, and in German too, of course. Um, and uh, this is a very important part of the project, development of serious games, um, quizzes, and so on, that can be used 
during the exhibition or when, while visiting the exhibition with your own facilities or with the facilities prepared at the exhibition with tablets and so on. Uh, another very important aspect, uh, the new business models for European archives, just an, another, um, another um, citation from the application to generate a greater value um, of visibility and economic return uh, for archives by the creation of merchandising products. Merchandising products so on the base of the documents we selected for the for the exhibitions, about 20, 12 designers, graphic and industrial designers from all the participating countries, from Austria, Hungary, Malta, Norway, Portugal, Spain, um, they um, were asked, they were introduced into the topic, uh, the kind of basic information of this object and try to do something creative with them. Uh, so each of them selected five objects. And at the end, in February 2020, they gathered in Madrid and there was an artist, artistic residency event there where they shared their experiences. Excellent timing. So February, February 2020 was just before the lockdown. It worked, fortunately. Well, and what was the outcome? And this I found very great. Um, just you see one of the contributions of Icarus from the from the National Archive of the Czech Republic, a charter from 1224, Kremlin Otto Krakow, Bohemia, confirms the privileges of the Monastery of Brzezhnov. Well, it, perhaps why not have it as a bag? Um, or if uh, another very famous uh, contribution from the uh, National Archive of Romania, Heiko Turka, um, a manuscript of Konrad Haas, who was one of the pioneers of rocket science from the 16th century. Well, why not make a kind of setup, a kind of, why not build these rockets for children by themselves to make a kind of paper model of these rockets um, depicted in this manuscript. Or again, the, uh, the um, Czech uh, State uh, Archive, uh, National Archive, uh, the mass immigration from Czech Republic to America in the 20s and 30s. Czech workers search for a new life, a new a better life out there. Well, perhaps they would have loved to wear this T-shirt when they crossed the big ocean. Um, new life ahead. So, and uh, for each of them, five, 12 graphics, that means about 70 objects have been created in this way and, well, should be, um, uh, should be open to the archives among others, a new business. And last but not least, and this, this I come to the end, the communication dissemination work. Um, um, this is very broad and wide field of activity. Um, the logo you see on the left-hand side was created by Icarus, uh, the project logo. Of course, the setup and maintenance of the project website. And um, in the last time, Katja takes care of this, of the dissemination of the project news. So to supply the public interest by um, adapting all the information for all possible uh, kinds of social media is the task of Katja and the gigantic task of development of collecting a system for data exposition for all partners. Um, uh, to give, uh, give the news to the public, interesting public via the website. Uh, of course, this was only a very, very brief information about the project, but mm, with the eyes of Icarus, as I mentioned. But if you're interested, just have a look on the project website where you can find a lot of more information. Thank you very much.